So Canvas is a great tool, right? Because uh, I can give you guys stuff outside of class and you can access stuff out of class. Uh, and I uh, can give you more stuff than I can print. <laughs> um, so remember, everything in uh, Canvas that you're going to want to access is under modules. And so for today, I had asked that you guys watch the how to, to use a microscope video. So how many of you guys actually watch that? Woohoo! Okay, like three people. Alrighty, <laughs> I'm not going to play that. Uh, in the past, I used to play it to kind of try and help uh, orient you guys. Um, but my OCD and in, in that, I guess, is just bugging me because it's not perfect. Um, and I did another one, professional one, with the audiovisual department, and they had finished editing it, and apparently they screwed it up again. So, um, yeah, I'm just letting it go. Just letting it go. Um, but it is useful for you guys to watch, especially if you're struggling with microscopes. So I've already had one person say today, I hate microscopes. So let go of that today, please. Just let go. Think positive thoughts, right? I'm going to walk you through it step by step, and hopefully you'll develop at least an okay relationship with a microscope, right? Um, we're going to use it to its full capacity. Right? And these are really amazing tools, and the science of microbiology wouldn't exist without them, right? Uh, we wouldn't really know a lot of the stuff that we know today without this really um, amazing tool. So hopefully I will teach you to learn it, to use all the great aspects of it today and use them correctly. So you'll notice um, that for lab two, which is today, um, I have what's called a wiki page that I put together that has some cool um, links to videos. Like this one's really cool. This is one of the first organisms we're going to look at. This is only like a little eight second video. This is Trypanosoma brucei, which actually causes, anyone know? It's transmitted by a tsetse fly, this disease. Hmm? Nope. African sleeping sickness, right? So, um... Since they have Trypanosoma in our book, um, I didn't actually order the slides with Trypanosoma uh, brucei because we don't get African sleeping sickness here, right? That's in Africa. Uh, but there's another Trypanosoma that we actually do have here that's transmitted by the kissing bug, and it causes a disease known as Chagas disease. And vets are really dealing with this right now with swamp doggies, like dogs that live in the swamp and that are exposed to um, these kissing bugs are getting Chagas disease. Um, and these are, all the organisms we're studying today are what type of organisms? What's the title of the lab for today? Eukaryotes, right? So these are all eukaryotes. Um, and because of that, they're not bacteria then, right? And so we can't give antibiotics against this kind of stuff. So, you know, they're trying to find drugs that work against this particular quote-unquote parasite. Um, so all the ones we're looking at today, right, they're not going to move like this. We're looking at all prepared slides. Everything is dead and stained, <laughs> right? So no excitement today. Although next week, uh, the biology lab usually gets in if we get our order in in time. They usually get amoeba, so you maybe have seen those before, or even um, paramecium. And I usually try to grab a couple of those live cultures and set up a couple microscopes so you guys can see stuff wiggling around. Um, so this is actually a video I took of one of those cultures. And actually, in the amoeba cultures, there's also Clamdomotus, um, an algae that they feed off of, right? So you'll see these little guys spinning around. And beginning students in the biology lab think that that's the amoeba. I was like, no, no, no. The amoeba is the big thing right here. <laughs> and these guys actually move pretty quick. Right, so the blob things, right, that push their cytoplasm, these long pseudopods that they have, right, so they're just going to look like a splat blob like this, and it's going to be colored under the microscope today. All these little guys running around are Clamdomonas. They're little pear-shaped uh, algae with flagella, so they, they really whip around um, in this video. And then... Um, so what is this one? So these are cool, you know, you can look at them. Right, different videos of the stuff we're looking at today moving around. Um, and this is a cool song 
about Plamdemonis. You know, those of us that are nerds, we like nerdy songs about, you know, organisms. He's, he's hysterical. Uh, singing about Plamdemonis. So, let me turn these off because they're starting to play something in the background. Some of them don't usually have audio or some of them have annoying music they put on, they need to put on, they feel a need to put on videos. So those are just, you know, um, for fun links, I guess you could say. The other link page is really helpful for visual learners and people that need to see stuff done like myself, um, is this video page for next week I highly suggest watching. And in fact, I write on your first page of the homework to go to these videos and watch them. What you should do is you should read over the procedures for next week, and then you should watch these videos. And you'll notice I have a note right here. I made a mistake, right? There's a reason why I made this particular mistake. That has to do with um, the, the lab that I worked in, what supplies we had, and I'll explain that to you guys next week. I will demo, this demo is going to be different because we're changing up the lab, um, which normally in your packet for next week I would actually have a plan written out. Um, I didn't have enough time to complete it to the prettiness and checked and uh, cross the T's and dot the I and meet with the other instructors to agree upon it before having to print it for today. So I left that part out. So I'll have an additional handout for you guys to use in lab and I may even post it on Canvas ahead of time for some of you guys that like to kind of see the plan ahead of time, right, and don't like to go on the fly. Um, but one of the things that is really important as a scientist, and normally you would keep a notebook, but in this lab we just um, we write on papers and we put them in our sheet protectors. And the good news is my sheet protectors did come in yesterday. Um, I wasn't sure if they even got ordered, but they did come in. So you don't have to worry about bringing your own in. I've got plenty. We'll give them out to you next week. You can put this right in it, right, put the sheet protector. So you can have it right on the lab bench, and as you're doing the procedure next week, you can see the notes you've written out for yourself, and if you spill, you're not going to ruin your notes, right? And then you can safely take them out of lab, so because they shouldn't have been contaminated if the sheet protectors are on them. So one of the things that what a scientist would typically do is they would write out their protocol ahead of time, right? And so that's what one of the, one of the protocols that you guys are going to do. I want you to write out for homework, so see how this page kind of looks blank, but it's not going to be when you come back. You can draw, you can put a diagram, you can put it in a table. I don't care what you do. It's for you. So whatever works for you, or if you're figuring it out, that's fine too, right? I want you guys to start practicing this. And you're going to do this all semester long, right? You'll write out the steps of the staining procedures, right, ahead of time. So that way, I know you've reviewed it. You didn't just read it, you actually thought about it. And it's going to make lab go much quicker and safer when you actually know what you're doing. In the beginning too, I will always demo in front of class what you're going to do before you guys do it too. Okay. So these labs are long. Um, the next procedure, because I think I do deviate a little bit from the book, I've kind of written out for you here. And you'll even see that I have provided a checklist. You don't have to use it. You could use it next week. And look at, I even did little diagrams that I'm going to refer to next week at the bottom. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I forgot something. Okay. So, I mean, not a lot of writing, unlike today, right? You guys were like hating me with the homework, right, for today. But it, there's a purpose to it, right? There's a purpose to everything I do. Uh, so notice there's even a spot, and again, it reminds you to watch the videos, and you can comment here about the mistake I made, if you catch it, and we'll talk about it. Uh, mistakes are great. They're great learning opportunities. So again, why was I excited about no growth on two of those plates for each of my classes? What were those plates? They were the negative controls. And so that told us the media was sterile that we started with, right, and that um, whatever was growing on those plates was from those exposures, not contamination, right? So our experiment worked. Isn't that great? So techniques can vary, right? 
And so sometimes, especially when I deviate from the book, and of course there's reasons why I'll deviate from the book sometimes, I'll usually write out that procedure for you guys. Okay? Um, and I'll remind you over and over, we're not doing this step. And this is why we're not doing this step. Okay? Um, so these are, these are actually old videos of me. Um, but these are actually some other streak plate good videos um, out there on the YouTube world um, that to give you an idea that, you know, depending on even within a technique, you may use a different method, right? You may change it up a little bit depending on your circumstances, right? And what lab you're working in, what you have available to you, right? So the other good thing on Canvas, which I will turn on now, Right, to, and so again, if you ever lose, I'm just looking, I didn't update this one for you guys, so I'm going to turn that off so it'll be like a uh, uh, to me, um, that I need to update it with the new handout. In case you lose yours, right, or you need to print another one if you're a typer, right, for protocols or whatever, which you can just do on a separate sheet, y'all, doesn't have to be in this packet, right? So if you're one of those people you like to type up your notes, just you remember you have to print it and bring it to class, right? You can't bring a tablet in, you can't bring a computer in. Okay. Um, and, oh, I, that's because I didn't even turn this module on for you guys yet. So I will do that today or tomorrow during my office hours. So what I will turn on for you is my old, not old, my first version of the new uh, handouts. So you'll notice that there are color handouts on top of the slide trays for today. Except they do not include the new microorganisms, the new ones that we have added to this set. So there's two trays there. Um, and that's because there's, a, there's two slides I'm not so happy with, right? So, and also, I'm not going to pay to have these printed. I'm going to have my boss or the school pay for them for the next set of ones. But I'm going to make it available to you, right? So if you want to print it and you want to have it for your own use, you can, right? So I just turned it on, right? And I will refer to it today as um, I lecture. And in fact, I have it on my computer. So I'm just going to open that file when I get to that point. But you can download it, save to your computer. Um, you can print it. You can do whatever you want. So you have no need to have that urge to take out your cell phones today and take pictures. These are actual pictures of these actual slides that you're using in lab. These aren't ones put together by your book, right, that are in the handout that I have online. Okay? So you have no reason to do that. The other thing I have for you is in the practice quizzes, right? So this one is identification. This one really focuses in on something that students have trouble with, and that's spelling the names of these organisms. Next week, I'll be nice. The quiz will actually have a, a word bank or be kind of a matching type thing, because I know for some of us, it takes us a, a little while to learn how to spell names, right? Um, so you have until midterm to learn how to spell, not next week. Um, so, but this one you can take over and over again, and you actually have to type in the spelling of at least the genus name. I haven't figured out how it for, to get the computer to do both. So I'm not being very scientific right now. I'm just making you do one name. But I figured at least that was enough to help, right, um, than nothing. Where this one you may have some typing, but most of the identifications are um, multiple choice, right? You can just click on it. So these are two great quizzes, they're not worth any actual points. Notice, right, these quizzes, even though some of them have point values associated with them, they used to be quizzes I used, right, but now I just turn them into practice quizzes. So you don't actually get any points in Canvas, and you can do them as many times as you want, and I'm pretty sure they tell you the answers when you get done. If they don't, let me know, I'll turn it on. Make sense? Okay, so lots of ways to practice. The other thing is, is remember the tutor came in, talked to us about the study lab, all the slides, except for the new ones, which shortly will be in there, are there's two slide trays in there um, that you can go there. If you're not comfortable even after today using a microscope and you want to meet with me later in the week and we'll sit down one-on-one -on -one and we can even look at the same slides all over again, right? Um, and make sure that you do that because next week's quiz, 
there will be microscopes set up with slides on them, and you've got to figure out what organism it is, right? And your microscope will already be in your seat. And you will have to focus a slide all the way to oil immersion for your quiz next week. All right, so you've got to pay attention today, right? Do the best you can. Don't freak out, right? You can come see me, and I'll work with you one-on-one -on -one if this is hard for you, okay? And we're going to get this done early so that as the semester goes on, you're not struggling, right, to do the things you need to do in lab. So um, is there anything I forgot? I don't think so. Questions, problems, concerns? Okay. So at this point, I'm actually going to turn off the recording. <laughs>